Today we're looking at this RF relay kill switch. This is intended for the Hyundai. I'm sure it should work for the Kia as well. I don't know, I haven't tried yet. I've only tested this on the Hyundai 2017 Elantra and it works beautifully. Inside the package you get the relay as well as two remotes. Optional keychain holder attachment. Installation is pretty easy. All you have to do is open your hood up, pull out the Hyundai relay, and then insert this wireless relay in. Now, to get your car started, all you have to do is twist the ignition slightly, press on the remote, and then twist on the ignition all the way. That's the manual method, by the way. You can also set this to be automatic as well. That means as soon as the fob is near the relay, then you can start the car as normally. No need to press this button at all. Very slick. Obviously, in the automatic mode, this will chew through the battery. I don't know how long the battery will last, but I would imagine that it will eat through the battery. One nice thing about this remote is that it has a sensor inside. I believe it's a vibrational sensor. That way, if the remote is moving or shaking around inside your body, or when you're walking, I don't know, then it will transmit the 433 MHz code. This code will disarm the relay, and then you can start the car as normally. No need to press this button at all. Very nice. There is no emergency override whatsoever, so that means you better keep spare batteries on. So if this remote ever runs out of battery, all you have to do is remove the three screws, three Phillips, take the screws out, and insert fresh battery in. That's one way to start the car if this fob ever runs out of battery. Of course, if you don't have any spare batteries for this remote, then you can always yank the relay out and then put the OEM relay back in. All right, hopefully you found this video useful. I really appreciate you guys subscribe to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.